Hello guys, I am Pratankshu and you are watching Pratankshu Dev and today's episode I am going to show you how to make Raycast in Ursina engine. So at first what is a Raycast? Raycast in Ursina is a function, is a physics function that projects a ray to the scene returning a boolean value if a target was successfully hit. Boolean means true and false, Friends, true and false, it is called bool in Python. So, and the raycast also gives distance, position, and some reference to the object's transform. Transform refers to rotation, position, and scale. And then it can be known by raycast hit info. I would make a video on that later. So now let's see how a raycast works. For making a raycast, you need to give the raycast two arguments. The first argument is raycast origin, second argument is raycast direction. The origin is the point from where the raycast is going to start. Direction is the direction where the raycast is going to go. So now let's see how, how you can code it in your scene. So here I have my PyCharm, op PyCharm opened. Then at first we will need to type from Ursina dot raycaster import raycast and then we are going to make an update function for the record for an update function only and then making a raycast means a variable I'm going to just call it raycast to one equal to and then call the function raycast and in brackets, then at first, as I told you, we need the origin. For the origin, I'm going to get the entity's origin. So e1 equal to entity bracket, then assign it a model. So model equal to cube. You don't need anything else for now. And then for getting its origin, we just need to say e1 position. Or if you just want to give a normal value, you just want to give a vector 3 value, then you can just type vector 3 and then give the value for example 0, 0, 0. And then we will need a direction. Direction. I'm going to give the direction again of the entity we just created, v one dot forward. Directions are like forward, backward that and that recorded so direction so now the recast is made now let's see how it works on it now let's see how we can use that boolean that it gives us for making a game so to receive that boolean that the recast has stored we need to say if recast dot hit the same. So now, if that boolean is true, then it will return true in the statement. So it will call the statements below it. For now, we are just going to print. Let's see if not. Let's add a not. So if this refers to if there is no object blocking the recall from going, then it will trigger this print function that print works function will say failed to get an entity and then now as there is no other entities it will not like always it will just continuously print this for that we will need the entity to block it you can just see if it prints or not always Oh, sorry, it, it would be recast one of it. Now, as you can see, it will always just continuously print that continuously. So, to stop that, we will make another entity which will then 
front of entity 1 so that it blocks the ray constant. So make entity 2, E2 and 3 bracket generate a model Q and then if a request is supposed to be collided we, we need to give it a collider so collider equal to box and then after the box collider you can assign it color scale anything you want I'm not going to go much details of it next thing we will need we need to push it and make it forward of entity 1 so the, def the default position is 0 0 0 make it entity 1 the default position is 0 0 0 if it is in 0 0 0 and forward refers and forward function refers to the z means the last one okay. so vector 3 works like this this is the first one number is the x second number is the y third number is the z so we need to change it to z In the z is this z equal to for example let's make it 2 then now I'm going to call the editor camera editor camera is used for editing now we can now run it now as you can see it is not printing it even once because this object is shooting the recurve from here but it's blocking it so that's why it's not going through and it's not printing For that, what I'm going to do is if healthy healthy is packets number A, then we need to call E2 for disable or else when we're going to say E2 dot enable. What will it do whenever we press? So now the recast isn't going through like the earlier one. Recast shooting from this object, this object is this, but this object is stopping it from going. So now if we press A, that object will disappear and then see how the recast is going. You can play with it. So that's it for this video.